What's up, y'all? Friday afternoon, headed up to the mountains to go do some smallmouth fishing. Going back up here where I grew up a little bit back in my younger days. I'm gonna take my son up here on the river, show him some smallmouth fishing floating down the river between the mountains. Just a whole different environment of fishing that he's never done before or never seen. So we're headed up towards uh, Lynchburg, Virginia. And hopefully they haven't got a bunch of rain up here this week uh, with thunderstorms and all that good stuff. Hopefully the river won't be high and also um, muddy. Hopefully it'll be nice and clear and flowing, regular flow. So rolling through the Rolling through the little foothills here. We'll be to the river here in probably about 40 minutes or so. We're gonna take a look, see what it looks like, and make a plan from there. And go into town and stay and get up in the morning and see what we can do. So check back with y'all shortly once we get on the river. Show you what it looks like. Should be very pretty uh, this evening looking at the river. Uh, we'll get there right before dark or right a little before dark and show you around show you where we're going to put in and all that good stuff so check back in with you later what's up y'all well made it to the river walk down here and show y'all where we're going to get going in the morning the kids they said they can't wait they're tying they're tying on something they're going to try to catch one right here So walk y'all down here. So this is where, this is just part of the river. I used to fish back when I was growing up here. Um, this is part of the James River. Check out these railroad tracks. Railroad tracks going that way, railroad tracks. Used to watch a lot of, um, cars of coal come by you on these train tracks i'm pretty sure they do but back when i was a kid it's when a lot of um coal was being pushed out of west out of west virginia so this was coming down all this coal coming down these railroad tracks were coming out of mountains of west virginia um and we used to actually hop on the train cars and ride into town it's pretty wild I'll show you this is treacherous Gotta walk down this little path here to get to the river. I can't tell you how many times, and I'm doing this in Crocs too. That's not good. These big ballast will roll out from underneath your feet. Yo! Um, people beeping, they know we're going fishing. So these big ballast will roll out from underneath your feet and have you on your back looking up at Jesus in a hot minute. So trying to walk down here like an old man. So we all ain't flipped upside down on our backs looking like Jesus because the rocks and then it's some loose dirt. So you're trying to do that in loose dirt with these rocks. All right, guys, here it is. I tell you what. Every time I come back home, and I call this home because this is where I spent a lot of my, not younger years, but a lot of my teens growing up. And I consider this home. And what I'm about to show you, I mean, it, it just doesn't get any more beautiful. Be careful. See my son. Look. Be careful. You'll be on your back looking at Jesus. I know. You got to be careful. So, I mean, getting back to, you know, I, I just love this place. I, I consider this home. And 
I'm so torn to come back here when I can or stay where I'm at. But what I'm about to show you, it, it don't get no more beautiful scenery, peaceful. I mean, it's, it's, it's so, it's awesome. Check this out, guys. That's what they call the six mile bridge. Um, we're gonna float down through there, but we're gonna fish all this tomorrow before we start floating down um, and continue our journey that way. Jumped off that bridge when I was a kid. This is looking upriver and that's Beaver Creek right there. And a lot of smallmouth, largemouth bass come in here in the springtime and spawn out. I don't know if you can see, see how clear it is? I mean, well, you can't see there, but I mean, it's just, it's, it's so beautiful. I love this place. It don't get no better. So I'm letting the kids fish around for a few minutes. Then we're going to get back in the truck and uh, head to the hotel and get ready for tomorrow. I'm really looking forward to making a cool video out here on doing some smallmouth fishing. So we'll uh, we'll get back out tomorrow. Catch you guys later. What's up, y'all? Out here this morning, got on the river finally. Out here in Beaver Creek. Um, this is part of a creek that flows into the James River that we used to fish back in the day. You can hear me, there's railroad trestle bridge behind me. The road is right above me, right there. So we're gonna sneak in this creek and see if we can see some smallmouth swimming around. There's a couple deep holes in here that they like to hang in and uh, see if we can get hooked up. Flip this around and show you the water. Guys, this is so pretty. Hunter, he thinks the smallmouth are in the trees. Yeah, I tell you, man, <laughs> team rookie all the way here. <laughs> so check this out, guys. That tree, if you can see it right there, is growing out of a piece of stone on the side of this wall. So cool. I love this stuff. All right, we're going to see if we can catch some fish and get back with y'all. What's up guys, out here on the river. It's been a little getting used to everything, but we have caught a few fish. We probably caught about six fish so far. It's been hard getting it on camera, but um, we just got a decent one Hunter caught on Papar, his first smallmouth ever. Spin the camera around, show it to you. Pretty fish, ain't it? Oh yeah. How'd he fight? Fighting hard. <laughs> the things put it on the tug, don't they? Oh yeah. All right, let that bad boy go. There he goes, guys, off to swim another day. Um, what we're doing is we got these tiny pop R's I'll show you right here. This color we're using. Ultralight rods. Got the uh, loose as well. What we're doing, we're floating down the river and where these rapids are, I'll show you the rapids. We just came through these rapids. And on the back side of these rocks and stuff, guys, there's these little eddies. Like, see right there? There's an eddy. Eddies right there. Big pool, backwater pool right here. So what we're doing, we're going over the rapids, shooting rapids, and we're going on the downriver side of the rapid and we're throwing out anchor and we're fishing these eddies, these back, back pools against these big, huge rocks. Let me show you this big rock right here. So see this big rock right here? Huge rock. And right on the other side of it is where the river comes around both sides of the rock and creates a big pool. So the smallmouth hide in these pools and ambush prey and food as it comes sweeping past them in the river curtain. 
Um, we've also tried some little uh, diving crawdad crankbaits as well. Caught a couple on those. Uh, we've caught a couple largemouth. So we're just out here having a good time, taking it easy, showing my son what the mountain life is all about, fishing in the mountains, floating down between them, showing them the different spots, you know, how clear the water is. Let's see if I can show you how clear the water is here. It's just so beautiful. Um, taking our time, getting out, doing some wade fishing as well and uh just picking away at it making a making a good afternoon of it and showing him some different type of fishing he ain't never done before so we'll see if we can get some more action on on uh on camera and we'll get back to you guys appreciate it What's up y'all still floating the river um we've had a few bites hasn't been very many like years in past that i fished this but i guarantee we've seen no less than a hundred people float past us a day so it's kind of hard to get these fish to bite in super clear water that shallow three to four foot um with people buzzing through here constantly with uh, kayaks and getting out, swimming around, stomping in the water. They're just having a good time. That's all they're doing. Um, and hey, I'm not mad at it. Uh, I'm doing what I like to do. They're doing what they like to do. So everybody's out here just trying to have a good time. I will say this though. Um, it's been a long time since I've been up here and I never thought that I would see just as many people that are um rude and arrogant on the water fishing up here in the mountains like you do fishing on the lake um these i've had people pass right by us in the canoe in a kayak three feet from me wouldn't look at you acknowledge you wave to them they don't wave back i mean i just it's sad man that that type of attitude, that type of mentality has transferred over to every kind of fishing. I mean, this place is just nothing but a bunch of good old boys and good old girls raising their kids up here in the mountains. And um, unfortunately, it's the younger, and it's all younger people. And the problem is, um, it's it's that's the problem, younger people. Um, that's the way they grow up now. That's the way they teach their kids to grow up. And it's pretty disgusting. Um, I hate to see it. And my son, he's only 17 and he don't he don't understand it. So we're gonna keep getting that. I wanna show you these dragonflies. There's thousands of these baby blue dragonflies everywhere on this river. Check this out. Look at my all on hunter's pole. Bring them up. <laughs> Look at all them things. It is insane. They're everywhere in the, on the river. I don't know how good you can see them, but look at these things. That's a shot back up the river there, where we came from. So we're gonna keep floating down. We don't got too much more to go. Um, maybe about a mile or so. So we'll see what happens. We're just concentrating on backsides of grass, eelgrass pockets. Uh, right now we're in a big, huge uh, section of flat water. It's got a little bit of current in, in it. Um, so we're just concentrating on uh, rocks that we see or logs that we see in the water and trying to fish around those. Of course, rocks. There's rocks everywhere, but the bigger rocks that are uh, back pulling a little bit of water versus the ones that are not as high and fishing around those and 
just seeing if we can get a bite. Um, like I said, it's it's hard to fish with people constantly going. I mean, the water is three foot deep, and uh, it's just a lot of commotion on the water. So we'll see if we can get a couple more. It just I, it's beautiful up here. If you love to fish and you want to try something different, come up to the mountains of Virginia, foot hills, I guess, of mountains of Virginia. Fish the James River um, has a lot to offer. There's giant catfish in here. We've caught some giant catfish that pulled the canoes uh, down the river. So um, get out, swim, mess around, have a good time. You know, it's all about doing different stuff other than just catching the fish. That's just the icing on the cake. So. Check out these dragonflies one more time. It's crazy. Never seen so many dragonflies. All right, y'all. We'll try to get a couple more before we take out and uh, see what happens. That's a nice decent one here. Oh yeah, got a decent one. Yeah, that's a nice one, nice one. Oh yeah. Dang, dude, his lip. Go car. You try to eat him head first. I'm out in the boat.